Hello everyone, Game Dad here, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. So, with a quick look at the map, I feel I can uh, I can do this part very reliably now. So let's see what we can what we can actually do here. Uh, okay, good. That switch actually does start on the right one. Yes, we want we want the switch to head left first because we can actually get something uh, if uh, if we do it. Yeah, you might have uh, saw like a like a small treasure there in the bottom right off the peripheral vision right there. Uh, regardless, so let's actually jump in this. <clears throat> And then from there, uh, let's see, it should have sent us to the left, yes it does. And then, uh, let's see, that's going to jump us across here, and from here, we'll be able to jump out and grab this item right here. So let's open this chest up. This is not a mimic, by the way. We get a dragon shield. That's a pretty cool item. Let's see what that, let's see how that actually boosts our defense. Let's see, that, that's just a flat, that's only six more defense. Oh, it also resists fire as well. Uh, that can be really good against certain characters, and uh, let's see, it does appear that um, that myself does actually, um, yeah, it does actually benefit from the most. Can anyone, else can anyone else equip the Iron Shield? No, I think I'll give it to Mia, actually, just so I have more room in, game, in my own inventory. I, I almost said Game Dog, like I'm in third person for a second. No, no, I'm, I'm can <laughs> You know, okay, if there's one thing that's been a little bit confusing over the course of this playthrough so far, it's the fact that I named my own character after myself. <laughs> I, I don't know why that's super confusing, because, like, I, half the time I call him Isaac, which is his official name, or the, ha half the other time I call him myself, and then half the time I also call him, like, Game Dog. Okay, so there are three halves there. That's how confusing it gets. Uh, Gregasso, let's see. Um, like, his, his, name, his real name is Isaac, by the way. Uh, Gregasso, let's see. Um, well, of course, you, you probably figured that out at this point. Whatever, let's see. Okay, so we gotta go up here. Yeah, I did flip that switch now, so we have to go back to the, uh, the mine shaft right here, the mine cart. Not the mine shaft, we're in a mine shaft right now. Yeah, here we go. So, let's hit it back up here. Then this should jump us across here, and then that'll grant us access down to, uh, let's see, this spinning monster. Uh, there's another living statue down here. Well, I guess we'll figure out in a second. Let's see, we have some more of these guys. I think I'll set them, some of these guys up, actually, just because I can, honestly. Let's see. Oh, I think actually knows Cure and Cure well now. When did, when did he learn that, actually? That was kind of interesting. Let's see, Plasma. This should be enough. Actually, that's that's definitely not going to... It, it might be enough to take him out. You never know with these kinds of things. Uh, let's see, I'm not using anything they're weak to. In fact, I might be using something they're strong. There's... Yeah, in fact, I might be using something they're strong against. In fact, I actually did. Oh, and they multiplied as well. Okay, this is going to get very annoying very quickly. Yeah, I don't think I've ever um, talked about this before, but the gimmick behind these enemies is that they're very weak, but they can multiply very quickly. Um, I, I think I want to say once I've seen them multiply, like, up to, like, to the point at which there are, like, six of them at a time. Okay, but none of one of these things... Uh, which is a little bit annoying, but whatever. We'll, we'll, yeah, we, 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 we can kill them very quickly enough that it doesn't really matter in the first place. So let's go down here, and we have another one of these living statues right here. By the way, I believe each and every one of these drop, drops a vial as well. Let's see. Oh, yes, let's start with Ragnarok, because that is the most awesome move of all time. I love that spell so much. Let's see. Prosin, uh, Terramat, because uh, you're weak to that, and Scybell. Okay, good. You know, yeah... Oh my goodness, okay, what am I trying to say here? A lot of this game later later on just becomes like, it, it, like this is a very summon-based game. You're seeing me use summons quite a bit over the course of this playthrough. I think that's kind of the point of them. Like, like Jin is, yeah, the Jin system is really one of the things that really makes this game stand out from other games in the genre. Uh, so it makes sense that I, that I use them this often. Like, I really like this game a lot, and it, it has, it, yeah, it's got a lot of interesting about it. So let's see, I leveled up, let's see, level 15 Squire. Uh, Mia grew to level 15, that's pretty cool as well. Yeah, they all drop vials, I think. Uh, regardless, though, okay, so now we can actually get out of here. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. I want to say this is going to allow us access to, uh, let's see, I'm actually trying to think what this allows us access to. Oh, yes, I remember now. But first off, we, we got to get out of this mine shaft. So let's, uh, let's head around this way. Wait a second, that go away? That can went away. Interesting. That, that the, the puddle in the top left there. That's interesting. So did that sort of reset the room or something? That's kind of interesting if that is the case. I never really expect the game to do something like that. Of course, saying it, uh, that kind of thing doesn't happen often. Uh, let's see here. We have more of these guys. Oh, of course we have more of these things. Let's see. Um, let's use Plant Diver on you because it's super powerful. Let's see. Oh man, I think everyone except my healer knows healing magic at this point. That is really silly, actually. Let's see. Um, use that on you. Plasma. This may or may not be enough to kill you. I don't think it will actually because um. Yeah, my, my characters aren't powered up because all their genie are um, are like not set right now. I, I think they're recovering. I think all the a lot of them are recovering right now. Let's see, who's Ransack going to hit? It looks like it hit me. I'm um, down to about half health here, so I'm going to have to try and heal that up at some point. Oh man, these guys have a lot of health actually. I'll go to no, I, I'll go to uh, to Plant Diver again. Just because that is a really go to uh, to attack that's really strong. Let's see, I'll use Cure Well this time. I, I, don't really, I really need to worry about that kind of thing now. Actually, Plasma might be enough to take out these weaker guys, or at the very least, one of them. Okay, that's one less damage I'm going to be taking over the course of this battle, which is pretty nice. Uh, even more if I can kill him in this turn, which I was able to. We got a Smoke Bomb off of that, which we probably will be selling, because I don't really use those items at all. 
You know, I, I want to start using those items a lot more as well. That's one of the things that I kind of want to do in this playthrough. Like, I just want to be a bit more... Okay, you know what? We're using a Void Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I, I'm so used to going to, to Synergy first that I always... Oh, no, Poison Thing. Do not poison... Okay, good. Uh, let's see. Um, I am so used to um to going to the menu um uh, to use my Synergy that I, I just sometimes do that out of force of habit, which is kind of funny, actually. Let's see. Uh, let's use Plasma. I, I'm, I'm sprinting across my spells quite nicely, so this may or may not be enough to actually take these guys out. Uh, let's see. Okay, that was enough to take the Slime Beast out, and that guy as well, good, because those are pretty weak enemies. Uh, let's see. You lived, and you're attacking, so you're not going to bother. That might... Uh, oh, no, it poisoned me. Okay, that's bad. We might have to pay a visit to the Priest after the, uh, when we get out of here, then. Because uh, I do not think poison goes away unless I use like an antidote. We do have purge poison, but I kind of want to show off that service um, the guy can do. Oh yeah, there we go. You also see like sweat marks around Isaac whenever someone takes damage from poison. We gotta get that healed up pretty quickly, actually. Let's see. Um, yeah, it does. It also says that he's poisoned right there as well. <laughs> you know, Ivan has really been taking a beating over the course of this playthrough. I don't know why. I mean, I get he's a glass cannon, but like like every single enemy appears to be targeting him for whatever reason. Uh, like he's the only character to have died, and he's died twice. Uh, I guess once technically if you count um, that that time I redid the Satoru's boss fight. Uh, regardless, so let's get out of here. Yeah, I kind of want to not. I mean, I could heal him, but I kind of don't want to, just because I want to try the challenge of trying to get out of here with a poison team member, because that doesn't really come up that often. Let's see. Uh, we have another one of these guys. A slime, a plant diver will be more than enough to take that guy, and from there, let's see if we can start to use some of our more powerful um, single targeting things. Let's see. Let's try plasma. Let's try that. Uh, let's see here, yeah, so, what Poison does, okay, you can probably guess this, but what Poison does, because it does the exact same thing like every game of this, like, it makes it so after, um, t well, not literally every game, but it pretty much makes it so at the end of every single one of, um, Ivan's turns, he takes damage. Uh, like, it, well, it didn't take damage there. Oh, wait a second, I think uh, Garrett learns a new move there, actually. I'll probably check that in the, in the next battle. You know, I actually kind of like this loadout. I have, um, uh, given, uh, given, um, yeah, given the kind of synergies I have. Like, it, it's really neat, and it actually kind of, uh, lends itself well to what I want to. Okay, let's go pay a visit to this man right over here. Let's see, let's go up here. By the way, we are supposed to be out here. Let's see. Welcome, Wary Wanderers. What aid do you seek? Let's, uh, oh, and not revive. Uh, let's see here. Hmm, so you need an antidote to po uh, yeah, to poison or dead yeah, you need an antidote to poison or deadly poison. Whom shall I cure? So yeah, for a measly ten gold, you can actually cure Ivan or cure any poison team member here. I require a donation of ten gold to cure Ivan. I shall apply the cure. So yeah, you get the same jingle you get for Ply, and uh, there we go, he's not he's not poisoned anymore. Hmm, you know, I, I might come back to him later if I ever get, like, Cursed Equipment or something. Heck, dare I say it, I may even try Cursed Equipment now that I'm uh, doing sort of a Let's Play of this, because I do want to try as many unique things as I possibly can. Uh, regardless, though, some more, I'm actually going to set um, Ivan's uh, Mind Read to, uh, to R again, because I, I want to Mind Read some more people. Uh, the waters have flushed out tons of rocks from the mine. Maybe now we'll, we'll find gems and ore we've never ever seen, we've never even seen before. I'll be better, yeah, it'd be better than digging up more of those darn ancient relics. But ancient relics are cool, man. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's see. Oh, right, the armor and weapon shop are actually open now. I think. I think. Let's see. Um, you defeated those monsters, didn't you? We defeated some of them. Here, let me thank you with a kiss. Hey, you're, yeah, hey, you're turning beet red. I heard someone killed the water beast. That's why I came back. There's no place like home. I didn't want to leave my hometown, that's why I came back. The bottom of the mine, the end of the easternmost passage. I won't, yeah, I won't give that up. My husband's sense of finding treasure has never failed. Once, uh, yeah, once the water recedes, we'll dig up that spot he found. Mom and Pop know something about the bottom of the mine. I wish they'd tell me what it was. Oh, that's a little bit, oh, that's gonna come up a little bit later, actually. Let's see, okay, now. Uh, let's actually go to, um, you know, I, I kind of... Yeah, let's, let's go to the armor, the, the, yeah, the weapon shop first. Oh, wow, this one's, like, in a cave or something. Let's see, what do you have to say? Oh, wait, I gotta go to the other side, the, um, the count of mine read you. Uh, only a merchant knows the joy of being open, uh, to do business again. Thank goodness the water has receded. I can open up my shop again. So, yeah, let's actually, uh, go ahead and, uh, buy some things from him, because we can. Actually, let me check his art. Actually, you know what, let's sell our, our stuff real quick. Uh, let's see, this item I don't really need. Oh, wow, 700, uh... Yeah, so, yeah, 900 gold is actually pretty nice, that kind of thing. I still can't buy and sell the Shaman's Rod. You're never able to sell the Shaman's Rod, actually. Let's see, let's sell both of our vials, because honestly, like, when are we ever going to use those? Let's see, let's sell that as well. Uh, when are we ever going to use any of this, actually? But actually, the game tickets and Lucky Mails we're certainly going to use at some point. Okay, we have, like, 8,000 gold right now. Oh, wow, Claymore, is that, that's a super powerful weapon for what I remember. Let's see, um... We have a, we also have Battle Rapiers, Battle Maces, let's see, um... I remember that being a pretty... Nah, oh, 
Uh, oh yeah, that's actually what we have on her already. Let's see, let's use those. Actually, it looks like that's all we can uh, that's all we can equip to them right now. Although the claymore is a flat upgrade to what these two have right now, so let's actually just do that. We're getting a lot of money back too because uh, the weapons we do have um, sell for sell for a lot as well. Yet. Yeah, I, I gotta say, that's also like half the reason why you never really seem to run out of money that often in this game. Because uh, you can sell so much so regularly. Uh, let's see here. For the time being, well, I am using items like nuts and things like that, so I am kind of uh, not really, um, uh, I, I am not, yeah, I am kind of in a position in which I don't need to sell as much as I need to. Uh, it's great, yeah, it's great, um, that I can sell armor out of my shop again. We're dried of all that armor and polished it up. Uh, no, I keep doing that. Freaking okay. Um, there should be no trace of rust now. Oh, that's awesome. Then I love rust free equipment. Uh, regardless, so let's talk to you. Actually, let's check your artifacts as well. Uh, let's see. You have a. Oh, you have a China dress. Okay. Um, interesting. Because China. Huh. You know, am I the only one who's bothered by this when games do this? This is. Um, I want to say the the the, the world this game takes play in, place in is a world called like Wayard or something, which is a fictional world. So like. China shouldn't exist in this world, right? I mean, obviously China influence. I mean, it, you you could have like worlds or areas based off that. But the flat, uh, the, but the flat out call something like a Chinese dress or like a or like French fries. Like, have you ever seen like French fries in games? Like, it's it's so weird when it takes place in a fictional world. I'm not sure if I can, if I explain that right, but let's see if we can actually equip this. Let's see, Mia Ken, it's actually weaker than the Elven shirt. Okay, that's kind of unfortunate. I kind of wanted to to get that because actually, what else does it do? Yeah, it drops the enemy attack, which is actually pretty nice, actually. Uh, let's see, what else can we do here? We have uh, the Iron Shields. I actually, um, let's see, we got the Dragon Shields. We have, so we're good on those for the time being. We can get the Silver Circlet now. In fact, I probably will. Actually, let's check this uh, first because it probably has more defense. Um, I cannot equip the, those two. You know, I've wanted to buy these for these guys for a while now, so I think we just we just go ahead and do this now. Let's see, you have a Wooden Cap, uh, which is not really that great at all, so I'm not going to get too much money back for it, but it is very nice. Let's see. Oh, no, no, I don't want to buy a third one. That's kind of dumb, actually. Let's see. Um, Silk Rogue. Can anyone equip the Silk Rogue? Uh, Silk Rogue. Okay, uh, let's see. Iron Helm. We, we might just have, like, new, um... Uh, we might just have, like, a new helmet. That's pretty much it. Oh, wait a second. What about these gauntlets? Oh, yeah, the gauntlets are new, too. Uh, let's see here. Those appear to boost their attack by, like, roughly, like, 3 to 5 or something. What about the chain mail? Um, th let's see. The, the actual mails uh, tend to uh, increase your, your health by a lot, actually. Let's see. Let's use, um... Uh, you know, let's actually uh, go for the um, for the chainmail first because it's the most expensive. Uh, let's see, that and I could probably sell the synergy armor for a lot too. So let's uh, just go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see, I'm not gonna sell that quite yet. We'll take the game ticket. Uh, let's see, let's go back out and uh, let's see if, can, if anyone else can actually equip this item here because this is a good item. Uh, you can equip it. Okay, good. So that's pretty nice. Uh, let's see, I might go ahead and sell your old equipment. And then if I have enough money, I'm mainly doing this, uh, actually, wait a second, oh man, I, I'm, I'm doing like a whole hand-me-down process right here, I want to see if anyone else can like equip this, and then if anyone else can equip that, um, well, they can equip it. By the way, when I say that, what I really mean is, um, is, hey, can anyone else like, uh, like, uh, get a benefit from it? Uh, which is not the case. I thought that would sell for more than that. Okay, well, that's kind of why I did that whole thing in the first place. Uh, let's see. I do not have enough for a second chain mail. I have enough for a silk rope, though, uh, which is not as powerful as that. What about the gauntlets? I might just buy gauntlets for, like, me or something. Who has less defense? You do. I'll, I'll buy it for you. I, I don't want you to die nearly as often either. Yeah, okay, there we go. So, we, I don't think we have enough money to buy much else either as well. So yeah, that's actually uh, that's actually pretty all right. We got, we got some new armor. We might be able to get more by the time we're finally out of here. So I think I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.